Hello everyone, here is the question on, of NBME blog NBME 3 blog 2 question number 20 so everybody is thinking and confusing this question even though I was also in doubt what is the answer so let's make it sure about and read a little bit about what is the answer so here it is let me read it out a 25 year old woman has had painless vaginal post bleeding for two hours so it's mean after their sex sexual intercourse they have um, a patient has pain for two hours her last menstrual period was 10 weeks ago the pregnancy test is positive there is a small amount of dark blood in the vaginal canal so and she has reddened friable cervical os so in this question where i was confused is that there is a small amount of dark blood in the vaginal canal so i was thinking about the threatened abortion so my ans answer was this threatened abortion so when i thought about she has a red uh, she I, I will use red pen so uh, when, I, when i was thinking about this she has reddened and friable cervical os so i was thinking about cervix cervixitis but i was thinking about the strawberry uh, cervix could be you know my mind was thinking about that so but for the rest of the options it doesn't really make any sense so we were left with b and i so let's uh, think about but when i really came to know that in threatened abortion there is a painless vaginal bleeding i use blue pen painless vaginal post bleeding so here is it for two hours our last menstrual period was 10 weeks ago so it's in the first trimester I mean in between 10 weeks ago she has she has her last menstrual period and then before um, three months I'm thinking about for me I'm just making it very uh, easy a pregnancy test is already positive so there's a small amount of dark blood so dark blood is what I thought about clot I mean blood is already um, there was a painless bleeding so dark blood means clot in the vaginal canal so she has reddened and friable loss so this thing really confused me but if you think about this thing what I remember from my past that I remember threatened abortion I, re I remember let me tell you I remember closed cervix for the step 2 exam you just remember my my clue is like if I think about threatened abortion I think about closed cervix like I'm making a CT CM and CC what is the meaning of CT CM CC it's my own clue don't really doesn't really make sense but T is for threatened closed closed cervix is for threatened M is for miss abortion so here what I I, I mean is uh, abortion sorry and here is uh, complete abortion so C is for closed cervix in all these three whether it is threatened missed abortion or complete abortion so that's what uh, that, uh, I'm just telling you it can help you in, in your exam if you think about closed cervix so here is also threatened abortion also has 
closed cervix so threatened abortion means is threatened so that makes sense that she has reddened reddened and friable cervical loss but in the case of cervicitis that might be pid pelvic inflammatory disease so that could be the patient must have a fever and all other things with that so make it make me correct if i make if i doesn't make any sense so just try to make me correct but let me read about a little bit about threatened abortion i have a slide so let's read from that threatened abortion is like definition is painless vaginal bleeding that occur at any time between implantation and 24 weeks of gestation the reason i am reading this slide because it makes sense for the answer so it helped me to understand the question very well so here is we go let me make it uh, black painless vaginal bleeding any time between implantation and 24 weeks of gestation a uh, product of contraception has threatened to abort but has not done so yet so the patient has painless bleeding minimal or painless bleeding that's uh, that was in the question associated with dull aching lower abdominal pain this is also the second thing so guys i'm repeatedly telling you just give me your answer and just post your comment about this uh, video which i'm making so examination is size of uterus is correspond to period of amenorrhea closed cervix ultrasonogram will show you well formed round gestational sac with fetus with with in it so it doesn't really tell me about the question really don't tell you about the fetus or something threatened abortion bleeding is slight not to retro placental and the cervix is closed pregnancy is likely to continue so that's a clue in the question too that uh, pregnancy is uh, positive the management is bed rest folic acid supplement progesterone supplement and here is another clue which really helped me to understand the question is avoid coitus but in the question it was painless vaginal post coital bleeding so and this slide is telling you avoid coitus thanks guys just uh, paste or uh, just let me know if you guys can understand it very well what i really make sense or not if i make sense could be threatened abortion answer but i'm really sure about this right now after reading that that slide so it, it might be the right answer please post your comment with answer so if i am wrong make me correct Thank you so much.